What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Sim. Yes, indeed. Sim fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles B, and this is actually one of Charles B's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Charles. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Charles wanted to see me react to this song by Sim called Killing Me. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, <laughs> wait a minute, hang on a second, this sounds familiar, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Gil Soundworks, okay? And the video has 34 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Sim, killing me official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I know we're not coming off either the band's official page or the record label's official page. I know, I know we're on some other page, so that helps, but still that word official, man, that still makes me nervous. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens, I guess. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Holy smoke. <laughs> wow. Boy, they are not playing around with this song, are they? They are absolutely getting into it. Um, the speed and the tempo up is definitely up tempo, up speed. Um, wow. It's a nice fast pace. But here's the thing. It it is fast paced, right? I I there's no denying that. But it's not so fast that it feels like it's losing control. It's not like you're driving that, like, you're not driving that Lambo, you know, doing 180 and with your hands just 
gripping the steering wheel, hoping to God that you do not just turn the slightest little bit too much or too little or too early or too late, because if you do that, you're going to wreck. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like that, but it definitely has got that speed of, you know, you're, you're blown by everybody. You just kind of look around going, why is everybody driving so slow? And then you look at your speedometer. It's like, oh, I'm doing 120. Oh, that explains a lot. Not that I've ever done that. I, I, I'm, listen, that is not a confession. I'm just using this as a hypothetical example, okay? I'm not saying I ever did that. Suck it to him! No, but, the, but the speed and the pace on this is amazingly well done. Um, I got more I want to say, but I'm going to hold off for now. Let, let, let's get back to the song. What was the name of the game? Nice, nice transition into feel. Way to break up the monotony of the song. All you gotta do is just change the feel to that halftime feel, and what a difference it makes. Oh my goodness. And when they do that, when, by switching to the halftime feel, although at the, at the pace they're going at, the halftime feel doesn't really feel like halftime. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you're, you're okay, so <laughs> you're going along at like 180 miles an hour, you decided to, you know, cut the speed in half. You're still going 90, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it still doesn't feel like half time. It feels more like straight time. But the straight time is 180. So, <laughs> uh, but when they do switch to that halftime feel, man, the song gets heavier. That's by default. It, you'll see that happen with pretty much every band that ever transitions into a halftime feel. The, the song is just going to naturally get heavier because it's at that slower tempo, which is nice. Uh, well, it's not, not an actual slower tempo, a slower tempo feel. It really wasn't any change in tempo. They just changed it to a halftime feel. So I am digging this song. I am absolutely digging this song. Um, the song kind of reminds me of a Treyu in a way. Like, I, I, not, okay. Yeah, I, I can see this song appearing on either The Curse or Lead Sales and a Paper Anchor. Either one of those albums, it would work. I'm leaning more toward The Curse, if I'm being honest with you. It, it, it's more geared toward that pacing for that album. But I, I, I could absolutely see this song appearing on that album without question. It's got the right feel. It's got the right aggression. It's got the right tempo, for sure. And the, the switching between the clean vocal and the grit and growl vocal, very well done. Um, I, I got no issue with this song. None whatsoever. I'm digging the hell out of it. Uh, it's a short song, too. Nice. Let's finish this off, and we'll get to the review, and we'll talk about it. <laughs> loving that, loving that, uh, loving the aggression, loving the feel, loving the drive, loving the energy. I'm loving pretty much everything about this song. 
Um, let me get my thoughts together on this. I need to. I I, I need to kind of calm down a little bit. <laughs> so uh, let let me take a few minutes. Let me let me uh, let me calm down a little. Let me stop geeking out a little bit and uh, give me a chance to get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Sim with Killing Me. This was a request from Charles B. And this was actually one of Charles B's three prioritized requests for the month of May for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Charles. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Oh boy, I sure did. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's just get right to this. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.6. Yep. 8.6, I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? This was a great song. Whoo, man, this was fun from the get-go. From the very beginning, from the very first beat. Man, from the downbeat, we were off and running, boy. Oh, man, and we never let up. The energy level in this song was off the charts. Uh, the intensity level off the charts. The drive was off the charts. I mean, it was, I, I, I compared it to that, you know, idea of driving a Lamborghini doing 180 miles an hour and your hands are just locked on that steering wheel and the slightest nudge either way could possibly result in you wrecking. Um, I, I, I kind of, it, it didn't feel like we were going to wreck. But it, it did definitely have the, the speed and the feel of like maybe doing like 120 where you're driving by and you know, you're passing all these cars on the 15 going north to Vegas and you're like, why am I driving? Why, why are these cars all driving so slow? I, I don't get it. And then you look at your speedometer and it says 120. You're like, oh, oh, maybe I should take my foot off the gas a little bit. Not that I'm saying I've ever done that. And that is not an admission. Okay. I'm just using this as a hypothetical example, all right? I'm, I'm, I, I admit to nothing. That's not true! No, but listen, it, it, it definitely had the feel, it definitely had the drive, it had the energy, not so much to the point where we felt, I ever felt like the song was gonna lose control, but I did feel a definite drive, undeniable drive, undeniable speed, undeniable energy, and I love the intensity of the song. Um, guitar sounded thick and crunchy, sounded really good. Hearing the bass was nice. I didn't have to go looking for it. I didn't have to go digging into the sand going, where is it? You know, and every time I dig, it just, you know, the sand just falls right back in again. I didn't feel like that. I, I didn't have to dig at all. I mean, the bass was right there. And that was nice. I, I'm glad I got to hear that without having to go digging for it. Drumming was great on this. It's way to establish feel on this song, switching between, especially in that, that breakdown section, when we went to that halftime feel, set up very well by the drummer with a really nice fill to set up that change in feel. We got into it, he, had a, he developed a great pattern to definitely reinforce and, and establish this is halftime feel. And the guitar and bass followed suit. That was really nice to have them do as well. Um, and then we went right back into the, into the, into the main, uh, original tempo, the original feel of the song at that straight time. Um, I made the comparison that because we were going so fast and when they went into the halftime feel, it felt like straight time. And they have been playing in double time the whole time. When the fact of the matter is, they were playing in straight time and then they went down into a halftime feel. So that was cool, that, that was really well done. Um, vocally, I had no issue with anything the vocalist was doing at all. I liked everything he did. Everywhere he went with his changes, Every time they made sense. I remember asking myself, would I have gone into Grit and Growl there? And the answer is yes, I, I absolutely would have. It made perfect sense. Almost like a call and response in certain places, like in the pre-chorus, like a call and response. Clean, dirty, clean, dirty, clean, dirty. Like call and response. And it, it made perfect sense. Every Everything he did vocally absolutely just clicked. It made absolute sense to me. I did not sit there one time scratching my head going, wonder why I did that. No, that never happened. Never happened once. So I dug everything about this song. When I say the song is impressive, as a whole, no, I, I wouldn't. There were some impressive things done. The play with feel was nice. This voice selection when the vocals were really well done, very well strategized. I will absolutely give credit where credit's due, and that was impressively done. 
uh the arrangement of the song switching from the straight time to the half time back to the straight time all in the right places well there was only one play well it technically was two going into the half time coming out of the half time very well strategically done i will i will absolutely give credit where, where credit's due but will i ever say that the song as a whole is impressive no i won't go that far but i definitely enjoyed the hell out of this song and yeah this is going on some this is going on some uh playlist for sure but i've got to be careful listening to this song i if i'm on the 15 going you know north going toward vegas and this song comes on i very well could find myself doing 120 miles an hour on the freeway i i so i i better be careful with this song uh jim yes this is gym music without question this is absolutely gym music i don't know about treadmill but this is weights this is weights music right here absolutely without question um great tune overall really enjoyed it and we're sticking with that 8.6 for sure so 8.6 final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.